Installing and licensing Cathexis Vision is straightforward. Decide on the licenses that are required or download the trial software and arrange for any other demo licenses that you might need. If you have a license key number, enter that and the VMS will be operative. If you don't have a license key, generate a license request file and send that to Cathexis Support and they will send you a pack file. And after it is loaded, the VMS will be functional. For purposes of this tutorial, the trial software will be loaded. On the Cathexis website, click on the trial software icon or menu option. Fill in the information on the trial license request form. After submitting it, the trial product key will be generated. Please note that this key is machine-specific and can only be used once. The trial software can now be downloaded and saved to your computer. After the download is complete, run the software to install it, accepting all the defaults, unless your requirements differ. During the installation process, the system performance will be optimized to ensure that no background process slows it down. When the installation is complete, the VMS can be started by clicking on the Cathexis Vision server icon and using admin as the username and password. The product key that was generated at download time must now be entered. It should also be available at your email. Click Next. Now the VMS can be set up. Open the Setup tab. Give the site a name and also give the server a name as well as set up cameras and analytics. Once this is done, the VMS will be fully functional for 60 days. After 60 days, the trial licenses expire and can either be extended or replaced with permanent licenses. This is done by generating a license request file. Once the request file is generated, email it to Cathexa Support and they in turn will send a pack file that can be used to license the VMS.
Once the applying licenses is done, even though it is not necessary, it is a good idea to restart the machine. Login and Cathexis Vision should be working and the licenses can be checked by going to the Tools menu and clicking the Local Server Licenses. Thank you for watching.